In this tutorial, we look at the rules for assigning signals to their block properties. If the signals are drawn according to the placement rules described in the previous tutorial, pressing the autofill button is all that is needed to automatically assign each signal to the corresponding fields in that block's properties. But there are situations when the automatic assignment of the signal cannot be completed by iTrain, such as when a signal is not drawn in the switchboard track, or when a block is divided between two tabs on the switchboard, or when things just don't go as expected. So we also need to know how to assign the signals manually. In this episode, we describe how. It is assumed that the signals have already been drawn in the switchboard and defined. Welcome back. So let's jump straight in with Rule 2A, General Assignment. It states that each signal must be assigned to the block properties. Assign means the signal name is selected in the appropriate signal field for the direction of travel within a block's properties. Remember, a signal is usually assigned to the block to which it is grouped, and each signal is grouped to the block in which it is drawn. A single role home signal must be assigned to the home signal field in the block in which the train will stop and not the block or blocks that the signal protects. So again, this means it is assigned to the block in which the home signal is drawn. Open the block properties. Select the appropriate direction tab. Press the autofill button and check that the correct signal name appears in the home signal field. It can be selected manually from the drop-down list, but for reasons stated in the previous tutorial, it is better to use the Auto-Fill button. If the block contains a single roll shunt signal without a home signal, the shunt signal must be assigned to the shunt signal field in the block. If the block contains a single roll shunt signal and a single roll home signal in the same block, the shunt signal must still be assigned to the shunt signal field in the block properties. Here too, the block is the one to which the signal is grouped. Now note that with a multi-role shunt signal, the shunt signal field is not filled in. It must remain blank. Only the home signal field is assigned when using a multi-role signal, as we will see later. For the warning signal assignment, we must distinguish between three warning signal scenarios. One, a single role warning signal in a block that is related to and precedes the home signal in the same block. Two, a single role warning signal that is related to a home signal in the following block. In other words, the related home signal in the block ahead. Three, 
a single roll warning signal that is attached to the same mast as the home signal, also known as a multi-section combined signal. A single roll warning signal, W6, in a block that is related to and precedes the home signal, H6, in the same block, should be assigned to the warning signal field in the signal section in the block properties. The home signal H6 and its related warning signal W6 are both grouped in the same block and both assigned to the same block. The home signal H6 is assigned to the home signal field located in the signal section and in the corresponding direction tab. The warning signal W6 is assigned to the warning signal field located above the home signal in the signal section and in the same direction tab. A single roll warning signal that is related to a home signal in the following block, i.e. not in the same block but in the block ahead, should be assigned to the block in which it is grouped, here shown as block A. Its related home signal is assigned to the block ahead, shown as block B. The home signal is grouped in block B and assigned to block B in the home signal field located in the appropriate direction tab. Its related warning signal is grouped in the preceding block A and assigned to that block using the warning signal field in the block section and in the corresponding direction tab. Now note, if there is a turnout between the blocks, the warning signal indicates the state of the home signal in the block ahead for the route selected. For a single roll warning signal, W10, that is part of a home signal, H10, contained on the same mast, i.e. a multi-sectional signal, the warning signal, W10, is always related to the home signal, H11, in the block ahead. Therefore, the warning signal is assigned to the warning signal field in the block section of the block properties. The multi-section signal is assigned to the block in which the multi-sectional signal is grouped, B10. So the home signal and the warning signal are treated as two separate signals each assigned to the block in which the multi-sectional signal is drawn. All multi-roll signals must be assigned only to the home signal roll in the block properties. When the autofill button is pressed, only the home signal role is automatically assigned to the home signal field. This is correct. 
The other roles, warning and shunt, should not be separately assigned in the block properties. iTrain already assigns these roles internally. The same applies if you need to assign the signal manually. Only assign the home signal. OK, so that explains the rules for assigning each of the signal types. We now know all the rules for drawing and assigning signals. In the next tutorial, we begin recreating the signalling on the demo layout. We will start by removing all the existing signals, which will be an exercise in manipulating objects on the switchboard. So, until then, bye for now.